Welcome back to round number four. We are Portland Paper here at Guardian Games, and we are hosting Monday Modern. And we've had uh, Sam Deedle hanging out all evening with us on Super Friends. Made it first first feature match, first round. Made yes. it to the final round. Yeah. It's you know, jokingly, when Sam, uh, when I asked him to be in the feature match round one, I said, we could wait till the end if you want to be 3-0 going into the feature <laughs> match. And he laughed. And, and he said, no, no, I'll play the first round. But here he is, 3-0 with, with Band Super Friends. Uh, playing against Grixis Death Shadow. Uh, again, a fast deck that I think Sam needs to find a very specific answers in a very specific order for. Yeah, the Path to Exiles are going to be strong in the matchup, and I feel like the Planeswalkers are, if you can get a Planeswalker to resolve against Shadow, um, also strong Nissa just with the plant tokens. Plant tokens, man, undervalued. That's true. That's true. Endless I think they don't blockers. matter in the face of Temir Battle Rage. <laughs> Temir Battle Rage is usually one, sometimes the two of, in Death Shadow list. Um, but yep, you're right. That is a way to get around the. I am apparently token. not right according to chat. I'm very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> very wrong about the fact that your answers need to line up. <laughs> and again, we're voting for Nissa to be the MVP. <laughs> well, I see, I see at least an oath of Nissa. And some lands. What more can you ask for? Uh, I, th I think maybe also three mana Gideon, which seems very good even on curve uh, to make an emblem and then. Um, maybe take a hit. Yeah, usually the Shadow lists are playing two Lightning Bolts, so it's not like Phoenix or Burn where your Gideon is going to eat a Bolt for sure. Yeah, and we can see uh, both players, again, have an indestructible aura. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> originally from Legends, art by Mark Poole. Alert, we've been memed, and I don't even I, know how. Yeah, I don't know how. Every <laughs> single player has had one, and I don't have one, which makes me a little concerned. Uh, if you want to go 3-0, you need to have indestructible aura. That's the... <laughs> the lesson to be Well, had. I mean, almost everyone we've seen lose has had one, too. <laughs> uh, Alder going to 16 off of Double Street Wraith, which uh, seems like a very good start for Death Shadow. And when you're not playing against a deck that uh, has the card Lightning Bolt in it, you can afford to use your life as a resource pretty freely. And Ooh. setting... Uh, Alders perhaps setting themselves up for a delve threat backed up by a stubborn denial yes. on turn two. Maybe? Thinking about it. I see a fatal push at the end of Alders' hand, which uh, maybe not super relevant. Ah, that's taking me back to that standard. Fatal push your heart <laughs> of Kieran? Yeah, yes. But I think we'll see Gurmic Angler. One, two, three, four, five, six in the graveyard, plus one to cast it, then leaving up one for your Severed Denial, which Alder may or may not have, but that's kind of like the the dream yes. turn the two. Be the best turn two possible, yeah. Or it might be, I guess, maybe Tassiger. Oh. That's pretty good. Okay, path still seems strong here. If you path angler, Death Shadows two two right now. Uh, and then, unfortunately, the first Oath of Nissa I think saw a path to exile and could not take it. Yeah. You're just getting a breeding pool tapped here. Yeah, I think Sam so. contemplating if he wants to play three mana Gideon. I could see playing three mana Gideon plusing on the Angler. That seems actually not terrible. G three mana Gideon starts at three or starts at four? Starts at three. I mean, it's likely the, that he'll be able, with five cards in hand, be able to grow his Angler big enough to kill it, but... Okay. I actually see that being a decent play. Yeah, if, if you yeah, have the three mana Gideon th and you can dodge another... It's going to be hard for Alder to play a Delve threat next turn. Not impossible, but hard. And if you can dodge a Stubborn Denial or prevent that Death Shadow from being a 4-4, um, then you can resolve your Gideon. 
Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We've seen a lot of Sam's deck over the course of three rounds, but I wonder if there might be some number... Oh, probably not any Snapcasters if Path is the only instant. I will say that that is my favorite Path to Exile art. Oh, and yeah, all Re of the... Rebecca Gwe, right? Yep. Yeah. Like watercolor. Who makes... They don't let people paint in watercolor. I'd be a Johnny Dual yeah. deck Path to Exile, <laughs> so... I don't know if we can still be friends. Uh, oh, it's got it's like it's got a super cool worm on it. Uh, can we bring that up? Is that even possible? Does it even have that art in the database? So no. that's the Conflux art. That's, that's that's decent art. It's yeah, it's acceptable. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh wait, maybe that's the Tezzeret dual deck. Oh, I don't know. Sam's taking twelve, going to six. And uh, Alder is at seven life. Making Death Shadow lethal next turn. I'm curious if the Stubborn Denial is hanging out. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Do we see this time walk effect? Well, perhaps more than a time walk. You just prevent the damage that Death Shadow is going to do. Oh, yeah. He is dead to the double bolt, though, which would be a pretty upsetting <laughs> end to the game, I think. Highly, I would say highly unlikely, but just bolt plus Snapcaster could do it now. Interesting. Oh, oh just to get in the extra damage. Maybe he has another Temir Battle Rage? Some let's play two. Most let's play two. Hmm. Yeah, that's all they're thinking about if you... If he wants to go towards the Gideon. Yeah. We're double checking the effect on Gideon, preventing all damage Death Shadow would do. And. Alright. Street Wraith in play. Creating as many threats as possible. Um, I think if Sam can make a 5-mana Gideon and 0 to make an Emblem, we're back in that same situation that we were in that Burn matchup that uh, Sam can kind of just take his time and lock up the game. Alder with only two cards in hand, is that right? And I think we can assume that it's not a Lightning Bolt. Or not a Lightning Bolt or a Stubborn Denial. Yeah. Are we going to get the plant tokens? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This will be the first game one without a plant token. Uh, oh, we do see a Teferi, so we might be able to tuck something, which doesn't feel great. But I would be fine um, fine tucking, I guess, tucking the Street Wraith. Yeah, tuck the Wraith plus on the Shadow. Doesn't feel great, but... Yeah, there's still a push left o over in Alder's hand. <laughs> Alder's like tucking a uh, shadow. It's like, mm. uh, Sam making what I think is a very correct line here. So Alder's really looking for a Lightning Bolt. Um, just got to keep the threats coming right now. Yeah, just like keep making as much as possible. Is there anything else that can plus that Snapcaster for that extra point of damage? No, just some combination of Lightning Bolt and bat Battle Rage or another Snapcaster. Mm, there goes the second Snapcaster, though, into the yard. Uh, I think the lists usually play... And a Bobble on Sam... Oh, it didn't, didn't show us. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Alder. <laughs> yeah, pushing one other card, I think, is, is definitely where we're at. We think not Stubborn Denial, likely not Lightning Bolt. I'm very tempted to kill Teferi here, knowing I won't kill the Gideon. Yeah. Oh, there's another Gideon. Was it a three mana Gideon or? I can't quite tell. Yeah, they all look the same. Four mana Gideon. Ooh, ooh, that seems strong. Seems very but good. But Sam's gonna go for another oath. Digging for probably the MVP that is Nissa. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Oh, making it a blocker also looks very good here. I think, and we have a land drop available still for this turn, is that correct? We do. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we can play the Noble and the 4 mana Gideon and make an emblem and, and a knight. You have two blockers plus the emblem and two Gideons. That seems really good. Mm, yeah, you open yourself up to Battle Rage, I think. And if you have the emblem? If you... Uh, if you... Uh, yep, okay, you're right. Still makes me nervous. <laughs> uh, Sam agrees. He's also nervous. We're just going to plus on the Death Shadow all day. Plus, plus, plus. I was more going from, how does this play make me feel? <laughs> Which is I still think 4 mana Gideon and making a knight feels very good. Uh, sure. Found a push target. Excellent. Great. I wonder what, what else does Sam have. I like playing the Gideon as well because you force him to hold back uh, a blocker in case you choose to zero Gideon and make him a dude and and get in there. Make him a, a creature. This is a good game. Yeah, this is very... This is very I'm on the edge of my seat. Um, I, I'm trying to keep finding lines for Alder to keep... To keep the game going, I guess Alder could play his own super friend in a Liliana. Is that in the main deck? I don't know. No, Lilianas yet. are in the sideboard usually. Sometimes oh. people were uh, playing a Liliana the Veil in the in the main, but it's yeah. mostly regulated sideboard. I now. think that we have probably one Snapcaster left in the deck. We've seen one go to the graveyard, one's in play, uh, and we have a Lightning Bolt in the yard now, which is an unfortunate uh, mill, but can maybe empower a snapcaster it seems like the shadow list have gone off of things like um colgan's command of the main deck mm -hmm. and most of the grindy cards are in the sideboard yes yeah and um alder may be playing here very frequently and knowing sam's list is uh exiling his artifact to stop his tarmogoyf maybe from being larger yeah uh, the Nissa, like, I, I don't think you want to be playing Nissa, that Nissa right now. We really want three mana Nissa. I was curious why I'm, yeah, I don't know Sam's deck very well. It, that is a different Gideon that Sam has in hand, right? I, I believe so. Okay. Plus Oh, is it not? No. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. One's a foil one. That's what was throwing us off. We have a, a stubborn now? No, not a stubborn now. Um, plus targeting destroy? Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, that's that seems very good. Uh, Saves the turn. Yeah, You're I think if I bolder, I just snapcaster to the face and put him to one life. Keep him off the fetch land he has in play. Oh, no. Oh, that seems fine. I mean, that seems very good, but... Try to find a snapcaster is the name of the game. Bend an angler. Yeah, and Sam's going to one. Yeah, that is very, very much the correct choice. So I think we you put Sam into a position where he's forced to make an emblem, right? And okay, Sam sees yeah, the writing on the wall all. and. Picks all there is. I was like thinking about stubbing your Gideon on that turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would have killed him. Yeah, but your last cards could have been like land wrap with God. I guess that's true. I'm just like, I'm so confident. Okay, looking at the sideboard, it looks like we got some board wipes. Board wipes seem very good. Probably the neg negate's going to come in as well. Got uh, surgicals in there. Surgicals seem great. 
You think so? What's the uh, reason for surgical? I think they seem better than a 5 out of 10. How about that? <laughs> that seem fair? Uh, like, Snapcaster is a ton of value. Um, I think that an early angler is very hard for Sam's deck to deal with. It's o only Path to Exile, right? I could see, so Alder's playing Anglers, Atassiger, Death Shadow. If you're able, I mean, I, this is not how I like playing Surgical, and I don't think it's really the correct way to play Surgical, but if you have a lot of bad cards in your deck, if you can get your opponent to Thought Scour some of their threats, and you can nab one of you're, those with Surgical. When you're banking on your opponent's Thought Scour, that doesn't seem like the right way to play no. Surgical. I mean, I don't really... But that is, an, that is a relevant interaction. I, don't, I can only see it coming in if you have enough bad cards that you're taking out and you really need to lower your curve. Especially if you're playing Path to Exile, you don't even have the uh, synergy of destroying a creature then surgicaling the creature. True, very true. I think, yeah, Sam almost turns into just like a good green-white value deck. I mean, Goyf is going to be pretty big. Yeah. Um, what do you think Alder's bringing in? I, I I think you probably bring in Liliana of the Last Hope. I think you want like if you if Sam can create that state that we just described, and uh, I think Alder is aware that Sam may be playing board wipes. Uh, like having a non board wipeable threat, right? All Alder wanted to do that game was find another threat and find another threat and find another threat. And if we can get Liliana to an ultimate position, even through multiple board wipes or or multiple Gideons, you can still win. It also seems that Sam's going to be kind of on the back foot having to deal with threats, that then if you can resolve uh, Liliana the Last Hope and just continue to uptick it until you ultimate it, yeah. that's going to be almost impossible for Sam yeah, to win Yeah, and even through. just ping off Sam's mana dorks that may be creating a, a tough blocking situation um, or maybe stalling out the board just a little bit. The, the best Nissa that came too late. It's true. It was just a little too late. Uh, in a in a turn that just couldn't couldn't be won. <laughs> oh, hey, if if you ever played standard uh, in that set, you probably lost to the 8-mana 2-2 two, two flyers attacking you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were... we were. Sam was pretty close to that. Yeah. Right? I think he I mean, It comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, Creating two 5-5s five for 10 damage would have been pretty clutch. Uh, also, though, I think that... I think this is maybe the first round where we watched... Um, that Sam didn't have an accelerant at some point. Um, he had Oath of Nisses, which are great for filtering, but even in like turns two, three, or four, there wasn't a mana dork there to help like launch him forward. Correct. Yeah, he was playing tap lands. Uh, never, never got ahead of Alder's early aggression. Mm -hmm. Sam making the wise choice to be on the play. You know, you don't get to three zero by being on the draw. Oh, unfortunately, it's a mulligan for Sam. Yeah, but Alder is joining, yeah. joining him. Another Guardian Gentleman's rule, uh, one mall, all mall. That's, <laughs> that's how it works here at Guardian Games. That's not actually the case for <laughs> anyone not from here listening. That's kind of interesting. On the other undefeated table, we have the new red-black burn list that we were talking about earlier, but oh. did not see. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bump of the Night is a card. I, I'm i going to say I was a little bit ahead of my time. I played Bump of the Night and Burn List four <laughs> years ago. Before Spectacle even existed. I did. Before you had a good reason to play that card. It's a one mana, three damage spell. That's yeah, a good reason. All right, I guess. I ha I will say I have lost to a flashback Bump of the Night before. Value. Yep. You know what you can't do to a flashback Bump of the Night? Dispel? Yeah. Spell snare? Oh, spell snare. I, yeah. Any of those? Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> Do you know what flashback on bump of the night costs? Seven. Sometimes Eight? you flood out. It's six. 
I think if you spend six mana, then it's fair that it does it. <laughs> Chat with the puns over here. <laughs> Uh, both players on six and thinking hard. Alder having basic island, which is a little awkward sometimes for the shadowless. Especially when you're playing against Path to Exile. There we go. Six. I remembered correctly. I have flashback bumped the night more than five times. Wow. That is a lot for someone that I commentate with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, I was playing that um, in Five Color Burn back when Treasure Cruise was a deck, and oh, you wanted everything okay. to cost one, including your Treasure Cruise, sure. so you were you were stretching it a little bit. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. that was a broken moment in Modern. <laughs> <laughs> everything cost one, except you played the Searing Effects, because Blue Red Delver was the best deck, and you beat the best deck, and sure, a lot of other decks. Sure. That's super fair. Uh, Alder going to five cards? It's true. Yeah. Sam seemed not super excited about the keep, but kept. Alder right. not loving his four, but uh, or five or yeah. five, yeah. sorry, four five, and saying that he could never win on four, so. Oh, oh, interesting line here. We can play a zero one Goyf or just a Noble. Yeah. Noble Alder missed a land drop, so I'm I'm interested oh. in accelerating my mana. Oh, okay. Four mana to zero. Um, oh, I, if I have a Planeswalker here, I just like run that out so fast. <sighs> oh. oh yeah, sure. So that the Planeswalker next turn can start plussing and. Oh, yeah. So the only reason that I don't, um, that I would keep a one lander on five is if I had a Street Wraith, <laughs> street wraith or a Mishra's Bobble. Sure. Um, otherwise, I feel like you, there's combinations of cards that can win on four, especially in Shadow, when you have Street Wraith in your deck and Death Shadow. Sure. Battle yeah, Rage, you, like shadow, you can, you can shock, kind of cheese yeah. people out, uh, but with, yeah, no lands and no cyclers. Uh, seems rough yeah. unless i could maybe see it if your hand was like three cantrips um but. yeah do you uh how critical do you think mulliganing is in modern uh i i feel like that's a huge part of how you win how you have a consistent win rate is knowing how to mulligan correctly mm -hmm. i agree i think it, it it is a format that very much punishes uh your mulligan decisions or rewards good mulligan decisions, I should say. More so than even, even legacy or standard. I feel like um, legacy is much easier to mulligan because of cards like Brainstorm and Fetchlands yeah. being in over half the decks. It's more about card uh, quality than quantity. Modern, it feels like depending on what deck you're playing against, it's about one of those two things. Mm -hmm. And you have to decide like what of the, those sub games you're playing. And when you can mulligan to five and still easily win, like Tron versus Control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or when your mulligan decision um, is just going to cost you the game. You do so many broken things in modern. Um, not even broken. You do so many uh, I, I <laughs> slightly more than fair <laughs> things uh, at such a fast speed that, um, you know, you have to have something, I think, that, yeah. that plays out. So I, just, I, just, uh, I think we saw Sam board out Nissa, Steward of Elements, but boarding it back in for game three. Uh, in place of Teferi, which I like. Play draw decisions there. All right. All right. Hopefully a keepable seven for both players uh, so we can can see some, some good magic here. You're up. Got a Nissa, got a path, got some lands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't really I don't see an accelerant in Sam's hands. Uh I think there's a green card next to the path to exile. That might be Tyler's tracker. Um which is sort of an accelerant, but a little slow. It's interesting. It feels like games against Shadow 
can exist in both like really grindy aspect or then shadow can just be super aggressive uh tracker if sam is able to get to the mid game can be extremely strong yeah i love this play by sam with the tap land on turn one don't bother bluffing anything he has a path to exile but he knows that he won't be casting tyler's tracker turn two so he can afford to save himself two life um i think it's small edges like that that really make a difference in modern and is alder going to live the dream with the Fetch, Thought Scour, Fetch Land, Delve Threat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Ooh. All right, all right. I mean, that's not the worst. So it, if... seems, it seems like Alder brought in the grindy cards from the sideboard yeah. here. Yeah, we do see a Temer Battle Rage in Alder's hand, so... Um, Sam has to play around that for the rest of the game. I mean, he would be playing around that for the rest of the game regardless, but we know it's there. Oh, Dismember stayed in. That's interesting. I uh, see a shadow hanging out. Dismember in. does answer Gideons that become creatures. It does. Oh, no, t no, no threat. No delve threat. <laughs> Sam's signature card coming down. Thinking hard about it, maybe. Uh, I'm I'm pretty interested Ooh. in casting it though. Huh? I'm uh, one, maybe Sam didn't want that to get stubborn denial, but I'd with a bunch of planeswalkers, I'd almost rather Heart of Kieran. Yeah, I think maybe also denial, um, so. he's comfortable uh, casting Path to Exile on the end of Alder's turn to remove his threat to put a Tireless Tracker into play, okay. so he doesn't have to fear whatever threat Alder plays down. Unless, oh, interesting. Lots of just drawing and passing here. Oh, tireless Tracker cannot can't get be stubborn, stubborn denied. denied. <laughs> 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 that seems good, but it can't be Fatal Push dismembered. Uh, the list goes on. <laughs> if I don't know if there's a third Kolagon's command in there. Usually two in the sideboard, but sometimes there's also a Liliana the Veil. True, yes. Chet notices how uh, one side of the matchup is going through a lot more cards than the other. And yes, I would say that Grixis Shadow and Is It Phoenix feel very like as close as you can get to playing a Delver style legacy deck yeah. in Modern, where you just are kind of turbo Xeroxing through a bunch of cantrips. And a lot of your cards don't really do anything, but they filter you into finding the cards that are very mana efficient and matter a lot. Yes, definitely. Um, Sam does set himself up for some interesting sequencing now if Alder can produce a creature. Uh, also, Alder being very disciplined and not cracking both fetches in case this bobble is no good. I used to play before Gitaxian Pro was banned, the five color shadow list that was more mm. combo-y with Become Immense and Battle Rage, and that was a big part of how you correctly sequenced your land was the bobble interaction and pseudo scry. Yeah, interesting. We could attack for 14, but we declined to do so. Is that a Nissus? Oh my gosh, that's a oh, That's a de new, new Death Shadow here. He has a Temer Battle Rage. Right, right. Oh, but just, just play the Death Shadow this turn. To give it haste? Yeah, it doesn't give it haste. Just double strike and trample. Oh. Well, shows how much I know about playing Shadow. <laughs> uh, it would be sweet if it gave it haste, but no. Has Sam's been very hesitant to deploy anything. Yeah, I think fearing that Stubborn Denial um, it, is doing it. Uh, or possibly he's trying to bait out the Timber Battle Rage to then spend his Path to Exile. If they have Stubborn Denial, they have Stubborn Denial, period. Right? Like, mm -hmm. that, that isn't going to matter, especially with two fetch lands in play. Um, there's just no good opportunity to do it. Sam is also staying at 20. Uh, so it's going to definitely make 
all their work to try to one shot this Death Shadow with a team or battle rage. True. Alder with qu quite the grip though. And we've got that Teferi hanging out in Sam Sand and a path to exile, of course. Next turn, do you Teferi tuck the Death Shadow if nothing happens? I feel like I tried to path on instep to... Um, mm, bait the Stubborn Denial? Yeah. And then I'm willing to lose to a Snapcaster or a second Stubborn Denial. Yeah. Uh, I, I like actually pathing in the combat step like he i don't think there's a way for him to so alder play. could go down to six uh so that would make death shadow a seven i guess he could have like street, shock street wraith plus lightning command bolts. himself team or battle rage i don't know there's a lot it's not impossible um but yeah yeah also sam's sam conserving life here is paying off huge <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to 13 with a fetch and shock. And Alder's on top of getting those bobble triggers. I think we see maybe a collected brutality. Looks like that path to exile is hanging out pretending to be a creature. Yeah, I don't think that Sam's keep was actually uh, poor in any way. I think it had a very, it had a curve. Uh, it would have lost to an early angler plus stubborn denial but i think that's a hard hand to beat regardless oh second stubborn denial, second stubborn denial. okay so all there is going to be able think. to go down to six and then 14. that'll be yeah that's enough yeah let's make alder find it though uh, I think all the right lines, though, on Sam's part here, pathing in Alder's turn to then hopefully try and resolve to fairy. I would say the only play I would have reconsidered was uh, not playing the heart on turn two, because mm. even if you got it stubborn denial, that's like one less stubborn denial for your to fairy path, etc. Yeah, okay. and there we go. There's the handshake. Yeah. Very, very close game. Uh, those games were much closer than I anticipated. Uh, a lot more back and forth than I would have expected from a Death Shadow deck. But. Yeah, it feels like if it wasn't for the Stubborn Denial, Sam could have crawled back into that game pretty easily. All Alder's deck isn't going wide, so if you can just deal with one or two threats, uh, yeah. then d play some Planeswalkers, usually regain control. But did not happen. Uh, yeah. Sam made it to the... Made it, Made to, it the to the finals, the final. almost enough to put his name on the trophy. <laughs> uh, not tonight, though. It will have to be next Monday. Uh, we could uh, we could also just be like wizards and take a picture of a trophy and, and not be the trophy. Is it? Um, we just get a trophy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to be cheap. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, thanks for uh, enjoying and the stream, hanging out with us. And we're here most Mondays. We'll be here next Monday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's Portland Paper. You can check us out on Twitch or on YouTube. And it, we do some other broadcasts that aren't on Monday. The best place to check out that is on Twitch. We'll have a schedule. Thanks for hanging out, Benny. And yeah, definitely. This is always fun. I'm always happy to be in the booth with you uh, and watch some great modern. Okay, good night. <laughs>